Good morning. One of the most powerful aspects of Gutenberg is the ability to create pre-made layouts over here and then reuse them in several places on your websites. We have two main ways of doing this at the moment in Gutenberg. We have reusable blocks and they have one major problem and we also have block patterns and they also have one major problem. But today I found a free plugin that solves both those problems. Blocks. Block of the week, block of the week. Yeah, block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. So imagine this scenario, you've got a sale on on your website and you want to create this block of content that you want to reuse maybe in multiple posts throughout your site or in multiple pages. So you're going to create it here and to add a reusable block, you just click on the three dots in your toolbar and come down here and click on create reusable block and then you just give it a name. So I'm going to call this summer sale. Now that's really cool in principle because that's created that as a reusable block that then you can use on different places on your website. So I'm just going to publish this now. And that's cool, we've got a nice reusable block and you're thinking, well, that's cool, that's my solution. But let me go and show you the problem with this. If I go and create a brand new page and let's go uh, summer sale and I'm just gonna add my reusable block into this page that I've already created and you do that by clicking on your block inserter and you'll see this little icon here that says reusable, not very friendly, and there's my sale. So I'm gonna add it into the page and that's all good, but what happens if you want to make some changes to this? So let's say I want to change the background color because it's dreadful. So I'm going to change it to that orange one. And you're thinking, okay, well, that's cool. I'm going to publish that and save it. And now I've got this really confusing thing that's going on over on the right that's saying it seems to have selected my summer sale reusable block. But then I've also got this select option over here. What does that do if I click that? Let's just save that now and publish that. So has that altered the original? I'm not sure. Let's go back and check and see if it actually has. And there you go, it has changed it. So now I've changed one over there, but it seems to have changed them all without me actually selecting it. So for an end user point of view, this whole experience of reusable blocks is really, really confusing. And you can imagine this would only multiply if you're giving this to your clients. You don't actually know where this ultimate truth of where that reusable block lies. It's hard to see a place where you manage it. And I've done this in the past. I've inadvertently edited a reusable block and it's changed it everywhere I've used it, which has just created chaos. And there's no central place where you can manage them or there is, but it's not easy to find. In my opinion, block patterns are a much better and cleaner approach, especially if you're giving these sites to clients. Here's a block pattern. I'm just gonna add this to my site over here and you add it in and then you can edit it and it doesn't change the original block pattern. So if you're gonna change that again, whatever I do, to this one here on the actual page. It doesn't affect the original block pattern. And this has a much clearer separation of creation and actual usage. Block patterns are a much, much cleaner approach and your clients won't get into hideous problems when they're trying to amend and change them. Now, the only issue at the moment with block patterns is if you wanna make them accessible for your customers, you can, you can register them, but you have to do it through code. So I was on the lookout for a plugin that does this really easily for me and for you without having to do any code whatsoever. And here's the one I found. And this is the plugin that we're gonna have a quick look at. It's called Blockmeister, the block pattern builder. It's an absolutely brilliant plugin. In my view, it should be part of core WordPress really, this ability to create your own block patterns very easily and then avail them to your customers or to the people using the websites. It has only five star reviews. It gets great reviews. I will put a link to it in the description below. I've also set you up a one click website. If you wanna test it out, just click on that link and it'll launch with everything pre-installed so you can have a play with it. Here we go. It's got only a thousand active installations so we need to spread the word about it it's an absolutely fantastic plugin this is how it works the plugin couldn't be simpler to use so this is a layout that i want to save to my block patterns i just go up here click on the three dots and you'll see i've got this brand new option here that says add to block patterns that's what the plugin has added for me just click on that and here we're going to give it a name so i'm going to call it summer sale and just click create pattern that now becomes available for me or my users or any other users on the website anywhere at all if they want to use that on post but importantly it doesn't affect the original so if i come back and create a brand new page now and click on my plus sign up here and then go to patterns we'll see down here we've got a brand new pattern there's my pattern but any changes i make here don't affect anything else on the site it's isolated completely if you do want to make changes to that block pattern then you can you just come into your dashboard and come to block patterns on the left and then go to all patterns 
and then your seal pattern, you can click on it and you can edit it. Now again, editing it here doesn't change any places that it's actually been used. This is just you editing, then when somebody reuses it or uses it on another page on the website, that pattern will be updated. One of the other really useful aspects of this plugin is the ability to categorize your block patterns. So you'll see it over on the right here, we have this category section. You'll see mine's just categorized as the name of the website at the moment, but I could categorize it uh, into any of the existing blog pattern categories that there are, or indeed I could create a brand new one if I wanted to. But let's just add this to banners because this is a banner and update it. And then to use this, I simply click on the plus sign, come to patterns here, go into my banner section and there's my brand new banner. <laughs> If you're sitting there thinking, well, I'd like the combination of reusable blocks, but also the central management of block patterns, then here's a shameless plug for our block injector plugin, because that's exactly what that does. It lets you create these content layouts over here, but then dynamically inject them anywhere on your website, which I'm going to show you in a second. And the beauty of that is you control them centrally, but you dynamically place them. This is how it works. So you create your blocks and you can create any layouts you like. So I've just done one here in block injector. So you can create as many layouts as you like. But then the magic happens over here on the right, we have this block injector panel, and this is where you can actually position them. So you can say, right, which location do you want them to go into? Post pages, WooCommerce sections as well. It's really, really detailed. But then you can also position them. So in this case, I'm saying I want this after a certain number of blocks. I'm saying after two blocks. And then you'll see when I update that, that automatically appears after two blocks in any post that I write. So if I write a brand new post now, even though I don't put any content in them, it will actually appear automatically, dynamically injected. Let's just add some content. So this is a fresh post. You'll see there's nothing in there, but when I actually go and view the post, you'll see that sales promotion dynamically injected right within that post. Now, if I want to change that, I go back to block injector and change it there. So in that case, we've kind of got the best of both scenarios of reusable blocks, and we've also got um, this central place to manage them. I should say at this point that Block Injector is not a free plugin, it's $49, but you can get 50% off using the coupon code Jamie, and I've put a link in the description below to the plugin if you wanna get hold of it, so do have a go with it. It's really, really powerful, especially if you run a WooCommerce store. It's kind of really cool, some of the stuff built into it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that one useful. Go and try out Blockmeister. Again, link in description below if you want to try it out on a one-click website, which I've set up for you. If you can hit that like button now, it'd be amazing because it really, really, really helps spread the word of this channel. And I've got a stinking cold at the moment, which my kids have helpfully brought back from school. So it would cheer me up as well. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>